right. So I guess just to, to start things off after last, last season for the off season for you, what were the emotions like the last couple of months? Was it more being able to, to relish on how good of a season you guys had or the bit of a disappointment, the, the way that it came to an end? Um, I would say it was definitely, like you said, a very historic season and we had our moments of celebration, but I think at the end of the day, we all were wanting to end up, you know, not finishing on our own field. We wanted to finish in OKC. So, oh, sorry, something just came up. Okay. Um, do you want me to start that over? Does no, you're good. You can keep this. Keep okay. Going. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, we wanted to end up OKC. So that was definitely a heart wrenching loss for us. And that's definitely fueled our um, passion in the off season and wanting us to go further this year and really giving us that extra motivation. But yeah, we had our five seconds of um, celebrating, but we're ready to move forward and take that next step. At what point in the off season are you like, all right, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm ready, ready to, to get going again. I think we're all at that point right now. I was talking with some of the other fifth year seniors today and we're like, we just want to play. Like we're tired of practicing. Like we just want to play somebody else. Um, so, yeah, I think we're ready to take that um, anger out on some some teams and see how it goes. How has practice gone so far? You guys have an interesting group this year, a couple newcomers, but also a, a bunch of returners. Yeah, it's been um, honestly a really easy transition for us. We have some really amazing freshmen and transfers that fit in seamlessly with this program. And it's honestly some of the best team chemistry that I've had as my time as a Razorback. So it's really exciting. And I think that's really gonna, you know, take us that next step this year with um, our team. When you personally have the season that you have last year, I mean, what do you pinpoint in the off season as things to work on to even elevate your game even, even you know, more than, than you did last spring? Right, so I think, um, I don't know if you know my history as a softball player here, but I had a really, historic first year and my second year was not something that I was you know all the hype and all that and I feel like I learned a lot from just that transition um so after coming off this really successful junior year I'm just learning how to be somewhat different because there's so much video on me and just people know me by now so just like trying to change like subtle things in my game to make me different and more unpredictable than I have been in the past. So just a few things here and there and um, just trying not to put too much pressure on myself because that's pretty easy when you had um, such a good last year. But yeah, just trying to take it easy and also just trying to elevate that game and make it a little bit different. What did you learn, like you said, going from your freshman year to your sophomore year? I that, you know, I mean, maybe it just it's not a guarantee that it's going to translate over from year to year. Right. I think after my freshman year, I did kind of take the, I don't know what you would call it, the home run trot. I thought I was, you know, all this and that. And then you come and no one cares what you did last year, you know, so you almost have to reprove yourself again the next year. And um, I definitely learned that. And I feel like going into this year, I'm just trying to one, not put too much pressure on myself and two, just try to be a little bit different than what I have been in the past. You mentioned pressure in the answer before, but this team isn't a secret anymore. You guys are top 10 in every category that's it's coming out. Does that put more pressure on the team, knowing more eyes are expecting you guys to perform? Uh, honestly, I don't feel like this team feels that pressure. I feel like we're all very confident in our abilities. And I feel that when we saw that we were posted in the top 10 in almost every poll, we weren't surprised. We have an extraordinary amount of people on this team that are one in a million softball players. And I think this year is um, going to be amazing. And I think that the pressure that you put on yourself is sometimes out of insecurity. And I feel like a lot of the uh, players on the team are very secure in their abilities. They're very seasoned players. And I think that um, just like our mental game is just better than it has ever been. And I think a lot of that stems from just the maturity in our starting lineup and um, us just being able to take the uh, underclass, underclassmen under our wing a little bit and just, you know, tell them that everything is not as crazy as you think it is. How have you taken on a veteran leadership with, you know, not only the, the new pitchers that are on the, on the team, but a, a, lot of, a lot of new transfers and freshmen? Right. Um, I think just the pitchers, there we had two transfers and a lot of them, 
um, came from other really big schools. So, you, you know, they kind of had like the, you know, mentality already of um, coming in and, you know, we, the pitchers that came in, they could be number one ace pitchers anywhere in the country, but they decided to come here to make it a historic team and really get us to the world series this year. So I feel like we all kind of have that same mentality and um, they don't, I mean, I lead them in whatever way I can, but they don't need my leadership as much as you would think. But um, yeah, the freshmen, they're, you know, kind of unique freshmen. I feel like some freshmen come in and they're kind of scared. They're kind of hesitant, but these freshmen came in and were at it from day one, you know, fighting for that starting position. So I think from the beginning, they were pushing all the upper classroom to be better. And then just, just what are you looking forward to the most? What do you miss the most when you have to go those couple months without game action? Uh, I think just the camaraderie of the team and then just little things like practices, stuff that you take for granted, bus rides. And, and a lot of our um, success last year stemmed from just enjoying the moment and trying to make the best out of the situation with our teammates and not trying to make the moment bigger than what it is. But yeah, I think I'm just going to miss the camaraderie with the teammates and obviously the competitiveness of just college sports in general. But you really, at the end of the day, just love the girls that you're with and just love competing with them. And I think that's what I'm going to miss the most. Awesome. I think that's all I got, Mary. I really, really appreciate you hopping on right after practice.